Well, thank you so much to the Outdoor Recreation Roundtable for, for having me here. Um, if I'm able to, to show my screen, I'd like to do that um, very quickly. All right, so I am uh, really pleased to tell you a little bit about the Rivian Waypoints Network today. Um, you know, Rivian is an American manufacturer of electric adventure vehicles. We are uh, coming to market uh, just this summer with uh, two consumer models, the R1T pickup and the R1S SUV. Um, these are going to be uh, rugged outdoor adventure, all electric vehicles um, with over 300 miles of range. Um, so really perfect to ex explore and experience all that the American outdoors has to offer. Um, but really critical to this is understanding that currently um, existing EV charging options are really limited in rural communities, at outdoor recreation locations, and at outdoor recreation sites. Um, this makes some degree of intuitive sense, but because current EVSE networks tend to focus on denser urban areas. Uh, this is done to maximize charger utilization, but this really does overlook the value of, you know, maybe less frequented, but incredibly vital charging at parks, forests, beaches, and other key outdoor recreation locations. Uh, and this lack of EV charging at strategic locations is a barrier to wider EV adoption itself. Um, and uh, it's gonna li limit EV drivers options to these key locations. So what we want to do is we want to help to eliminate barriers and make electric vehicles the everyday choice for outdoor recreation related transportation um, by providing best class universal level two EV charging coverage and experiences within parks and other outdoor recreation areas that currently lack the infrastructure to support EV driver visitation. We are doing this predominantly um, with our level two products. So Rivian is gonna be launching two parallel charging networks to support outdoor recreation. Um, the one we're really excited about here uh, today is the Rivian L2, which we're calling the Waypoints Network. This will be available to all EVs to charge using the J1772 charging standard. Um, this is what's really ideal when you're parked for at least two hours, getting out and experiencing uh, the outdoors. Uh, it is going to be connected via cellular, and it will provide up to 11.5 kilowatts uh, of, of energy, which translates to about 25 miles of range for every hour that is plugged in, at least for a vehicle like, like the R1. Um, sites will have the ability to set pricing rules, collect payment if they choose, um, which can all be done via, via a free app. Um, we are really committed to partnering to make this a reality. Um, and so we were really excited uh, a few months ago to announce a partnership with Colorado Parks and Wildlife by which we would provide every one of the Colorado State Parks with at least two of the Rivian Level 2 chargers. We're going to provide this infrastructure at no cost uh, to, to Colorado. Rivian is going to be covering the equipment, the installation, and maintenance for a period of up to 25 years to make sure that you know, you don't run into issues of, of stranded assets. Um, you know, once we, we, once we um, are installing this infrastructure, it's really important that the infrastructure is made at, at a high level to foster electric transportation to places that, that may not have had it before. Um, you know, what we're really excited about here is the ability to scale this program as well. Um, Colorado was an incredible partner for us, um, and we we're really eager to potentially bring this program um, nationwide throughout state park systems and also to uh, the National Park Service and other federally managed lands. Um, we'd be really eager to provide um, this, this full stack charging solution. And so, um, you know, by all means, please, please get in touch. This is something that, that might be of interest. And, you know, we're just really happy to um, have been able to participate here today. And uh, thank you so much for, for having us here. Thank you, Corey. This is so timely because our conversation, you can see there's, you know, questions in the chat. Our conversation has um, evolved quickly into electric uh, technology, especially as you think about how people are going to get outside with their motorcycles and their boats and their RVs um, in an electric world and where uh, that uh, hookup station is going to be, how they're going to charge, and how they can continue to adventure. Um, I love your background. That's exactly the type of things we're thinking about, is how can people um, have the adventures they're having now um, on, in an electric 
electrified world. And so we hope to really engage you and Rivian as you're helping to solve these problems. We're working with the Federal Highway Administration, who's here, um, and Christopher Dowds, who's asked a question, and many of the federal land and water management agencies to think uh, what we thought was maybe five or 10 years in the future might be a one or two years in the future. Uh, and, and we'd love to continue this partnership. So thanks so much for being here today. Thanks so much. Uh, next, we're hearing uh, from Todd Marks, the CEO and president of MindGrub, um, a local uh, business here in Baltimore where I'm based. Todd's a teacher turned technologist who leads uh, information architects, user experience specialists, creative interface designers, and top-notch developers to solve business and consumer challenges in application development and rapid prototyping. That means something to all of you technology experts. Um, to me, that's uh, a long way of saying that they do a ton of awesome work. And if you go into their facility, it's just like a mini Google uh, in, in downtown Baltimore of really smart thinking uh, people thinking about how to solve problems. Um, especially on the land and water management agency side. They've got a climbing wall uh, right in the front of their, um, of their office and they do a lot of their thinking outside. So I have a lot of respect for um, their company and his leadership. He founded MindGrub in 2002 and has developed uh, enterprise systems for clients such as Exelon, Under Armour, Royal Farms, Wendy's, Dell, The Economist, Discovery, and federal agencies such as the FBI and the US Navy. Um, thanks, MindGrub, so much for sponsoring this conference, uh, and, and we're going to shoot to a video um, of Todd because this is where I think he does his best thinking, so we're excited that he, he could join us from a local park. Hi, this is Todd Marks, founder and president of MindGrub Technologies, coming to you Todd Talk style from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm here to speak about the future of technology and communications in the outdoor recreation industry. Let me stop for a second. I wanna show you some case studies. I'm a big believer of play, work, live. Um, and I like to do both at the same time, but let me take a break here, a little breather. The first case study I wanna to talk to you about is for a client called Venture Trailers. They, like a lot of manufacturers, sold direct to businesses. And when they approached us, they wanted to sell direct to consumer. So we made a new website for Venture Trailers we added marketing automation, and we allowed them to, to sell directly to consumers, which opened up a brand new market segment and increased revenue that they didn't have before. The next case study I'm gonna go over is another outdoor manufacturer, that's Yamaha Motors. Yamaha Motors had a, uh, an owner's manual, like old school paper owner's manual that went in your glove box. And they came to us and they wanted uh, to make a more interactive modern owner's manual. So what we did is we made a mobile application that allows users to um, add their boat ID identification. They can find uh, service centers if they happen to break down. It uses mapping to find the nearest service center and gives contact information so that they might be able to reach out, get that repair, or, or find the nearest fishing hole. As far as mapping goes, we used to have you know handheld devices that were entirely for mapping. We've done a lot of work for the US government uh, arguably not outdoor recreation, but a strong mapping component with a TAC program. And this is replacing the government's version of uh, a Magellan or a Garmin called a Dagger. They found that the warfighters were doing mapping directly on their phones, again, a mobile application. And the mapping that we can do is super rich mapping. We've worked for park services, conservation areas, um, all using a similar framework as this for mapping. Next, I wanna talk about another client. Uh, we're starting to get into all sorts of hardware, solar, and equipment, and we work with Morningstar. Morningstar makes off-grid power converters. The really cool thing about this is if you have a off-grid hut in Alaska, in the woods of the Appalachians, the Pacific Mountains, and you wanna know if you have enough battery power is your Wi-Fi still available? Yes, we can put Wi-Fi in the middle of nowhere these days. You can now log in remotely and see the status of your systems using this Morningstar application. I also wanna show you a personal favorite of mine. I've been working with the, the founder and owner of Timber Hut for a long time. We've got a really, really cool product here. Um, and what that product is gonna enable us to do, let me show you right side up here, um, is add essentially slope side cabanas. The name of this new timber hut 
is called the Base Camp. And they're adding slope side cabanas next to ski resorts. But these cabanas are super technology enabled. They're gonna have, as I mentioned, solar and off off grid power conversion. They're gonna have Wi Fi, maybe even a smart TV, access control with your mobile device. But they're really gonna be the communication center of a family outing while they're at the slopes. And not only that, but I could do a couple runs and say I've got a meeting and I need to sit down and look like I'm not on a ski slope. Well, I can go to my base camp, log in, sit down, and conduct a meeting there right on the side of the mountain. We're also gonna have a number of tools for communications, mapping, finding outdoor areas where you can discover additional timber huts, some really, really cool technology. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. I'm happy I always gave you a little taste of technology and communications in the outdoor recreation industry. It's so cool now that you're able to play work and live all uh, all at the same time and, and even on one bicycle. Anyway, Todd Marks, founder and CEO of MindGrub, coming to you from just outside Baltimore, Maryland in the uh, Patapsco mountain biking range. Really, really cool area. I live right by it. And I'm able to get out here and, uh, and just enjoy myself in the outdoors. Thank you very much.